welcome and good day to you guys. Uh, my name is Daniel Bitti. I am a student currently studying at Széchenyi István uh, Secondary School. And uh, my will here uh, is to talk about uh, one of the topics at the final examination and that being free time and entertainment. Uh, the subtopics of free time and entertainment uh, are a lot and uh, they can be broken down into, into a lot of different categories. For example, active or passive leisure, um, outside and inside activities, uh, hobbies to do, or even just uh, hanging out with friends. But let's start with uh, what free time actually is and, uh, and how one can spend it. Free time is something that not a lot of people know how to use. However, it is uh, very vital and, uh, and it is crucial to one's uh, mental health, in my opinion, uh, and the, the purpose really of, of free time is to escape from reality and to, to take our minds off of the stress, uh, stresses of the real world and to not be bothered by anything for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours even. Um, hobbies can also uh, strengthen this and uh, there are many forms of entertainment and hobbies. For example, going out with your friends to a party or to a concert and, uh, and just really vibing with the, with the, with the whole crowd uh, or just staying at home and, uh, and, and playing some games or just, uh, just going, to the, going to the theater or going to the library to ease the mind. Uh, my favorite form of entertainment has to be uh, cinema and the industry of cinema. Uh, I, I have been uh, connected to cinema since I was but a child. Uh, I, I watched a lot of movies with my, with my dad uh, back in the day and, and we still do that actually. To this day we go to uh, the cinema every few weeks uh, and it, it really has a special place in my heart because, uh, because it, it basically uh, brought me down this path that I am on right now and, uh, and all, out of all of the things that the cinema does uh, my favorite uh, part about cinema is the, the acting part. But what really is acting? Acting is uh, actually something really unnameable and something indescribable. Many actors themselves try to put it into words, but uh, as of now there are no words for uh, describing this profession in, f in, in full. Uh, however, there are uh, talents and uh, good scripts behind actors. Um, these are written by very talented writers and directed by uh, very talented directors. Of course, actors are in themselves uh, nothing because they need a good script and uh, something they want to engage with. And uh, a good script and a good character uh, really gives them that and, and it needs, uh, they, they need this. But what are the tools of acting? In many actors' minds, uh, the tools of acting are the body and the mind. Acting is connecting the two. And uh, this may seem really easy and uh, something that is nearly not hard at all. But in reality, this skill is almost impossible to fully master and to polish it to a perfect. But these, these can be uh, improved, these skills, and these improvements make a good actor. And the good actor really engages with their character that they are given, and they, they engage with something unnameable, and this is really something that one must experience to understand. Another big thing uh, on screen is the chemistry between the actors. Of course, there are multiple actors on the screen, at the same time and they have to have something something unnameable, a chemistry uh, of sorts and this is uh, sometimes instantaneous but other times it has to it uh, has to be learned but thankfully um, it can be learned and uh, this is vital for a performance but acting is not all all beauty um, there are a lot of stress factors to it Many actors say that the biggest stress factor is the fact that there are no rehearsals for in, in cinema and in the cinema industry because uh, they have to perform on the spot and they, they can't have uh, final rehearsals. Um, another big 
really big stress factor is the uh, audience's reception. And uh, this always gives actors and every person who worked on the film uh, or the theater a big, big stress factor because they, they never know uh, what the audience will think. Um, an actor really uh, must engage with the role that they are given and for this to uh, be accomplished they have to pick characters that they are intrigued to and this is in my opinion vital for a good performance because if the actor does not care for the character that they are given then the performance will be a lackluster. But what really intrigues an actor to a role uh, it is vital for the actor to be interested in the character that they are given because if they are not then the performance will be uh, lackluster. Uh, another big factor um, to a big performance and a good performance is good dialogue because actors can be, uh, can be really brilliant actors but without a good script and uh, without good dialogue it is all um, basically nothing and uh, they have to, uh, it have to be given good dialogue and uh, they have to commit to the character that they are given and they have to live uh, basically the character's lives. Uh, another uh, a brilliant actor, in my opinion, one of my favorite actors of all time is Alan Rickman. Uh, he is an icon in uh, the cinema industry and uh, one of the best actors to have ever lived. Uh, he was born in 1946 as a child of four and uh, his father unfortunately passed away uh, when he was but a child uh, at eight years old. Uh, his mother always supported him in his uh, acting career and uh, she was also a great singer. His, his uh, acting career started off in, uh, in elementary school as he took part in a lot of child theater plays. As, as young as, uh, as seven years old. Uh, he, was, he, he went into a very professional drama school after that and uh, he learned a lot of things and almost everything he knows about acting there. Uh, unfortunately, there was a caveat to, to his voice and he was born with a tight jaw. This meant that he couldn't really um, talk uh, understandably and this this, of course, really uh, held him back in his acting career, but fortunately he was able to push through that, that roadblock uh, as his teachers helped him to transform his voice from basically sounding like a drain pipe into a beautifully deep and, uh, and, and very charming voice. Um, his early career was mostly um mostly branded by soap operas, as he acted in a lot of them, most notably uh, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, his, his career later snowballed into him uh, arriving and, uh, and becoming a Broadway star. Um, he told many interviewers that his, experience, his experiences uh, in the Broadway uh, really shaped his, his career and that it was uh, truly different from anything else he's ever uh, worked on, and it 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 had basically no, uh, it has not it had nothing in common with uh, theater. His big breakout performance was on the big screen, as the villain of the movie Die Hard. He co-acted with Bruce Willis, the big action star of that uh, of that time, and uh, he he had a huge influence on the character and how it was portrayed and uh, he, really, uh, he really invested himself in that character. Uh, however, he didn't know at the time how to make an action movie, but it turned out great. Uh, after that, unfortunately, he started to develop a bad reputation uh, that uh, basically said, many, many reviewers and many critics have said that he only takes the roles of villains um, however, this misconception uh, was broken down uh, by him uh, in many interviews he took as he said that all of his characters are uh, really um, uh, misunderstood and they're really complex and not just one-dimensional villains. His most influential role and uh, the role that he is most known for is Severus Snape in Harry Potter. 
um, he really committed himself to this role and uh, he was able to influence the character from the costume to the way uh, he acted uh, with the other characters in a really big way and he really made this character his own and uh, a lot of people associate this character with him nowadays and they can't see anyone else playing the role. Um, unfortunately, he uh, developed pancreatic cancer and uh, in 2016 he passed away. Uh, he only told uh, his disease to his family and the ones he, uh, most close to him, uh, but unfortunately at the age of 69 he passed away. All in all, I believe that acting is one of the most misunderstood professions there is and uh, it is uh, truly a hard um, craft and mastering it is almost impossible. However, Alan Rickman, one of my favorite actors, uh, was close. Uh, here are my references if you are intrigued by this, uh, by this subject and if you want to get into it yourself. Thank you for your kind attention. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the far clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul.